Hey guys, welcome to my 28th birthday vlog. But before we get into the fun, I want to take you guys on a walk with me around LA while I tell you guys things I learned at the age of 27. It's never too late to start over or pivot in wherever you're at in life. Allow yourself the chance and give yourself the freedom to get to know every version of yourself that's tucked away inside. Friends are the family you choose, so choose them wisely. Be around people that make you want to be a better person, who make you feel good, make you laugh, and remind you what's important in life. A good laugh goes a long way. Try not to take yourself so seriously and laugh at yourself sometimes. It's okay. <laughs> love isn't enough sometimes. You can truly love someone but know when it's time to walk away. You can feel consistently happy and stable while also simultaneously feeling the emptiness of grief from the absence of someone that was once so important to you. Good company is hard to find, but once you find it, it's worth so much more than any material object. You can make the right decisions for you while also hurting other people along the way. Boundaries. It's okay to have limits, to voice them, and to kindly ask others to respect them. The ones who don't like the boundaries you set are usually the ones who are benefiting off of you not having any. It's okay to be selfish when you're trying to figure out who you are and what you actually want out of life. I don't know is an answer if you truly don't know. Change is hard, but it's necessary to get comfortable with. Don't confuse comfort for happiness. Some of the most memorable and life-changing experiences happen outside of our comfort zones. The old version of you that you miss is still you. Find ways to find her. Everyone is fighting a battle you don't know, so take posts on the internet lightly and know that it's 99% everyone's highlight reel. Try not to take too many people's advice because no one actually is living your life inside of your mind and your body except for you. Projecting is a common thing people do unknowingly, so take what people say with a grain of salt and let less people inside of your mind. The past is gone and the future doesn't exist, which makes the present a gift. Take things in because everything is changing so quickly, one day you'll miss this time. Protect your energy. It becomes easier to distinguish the right people to be around versus the wrong people because your body will tell you. Good things in life come with patience, no need to rush when all we have in life is time. The best natural drug is endorphins. I wish I would have started going on walks sooner. Walking can change your entire mindset and mood for the day. Your health is something you should never take for granted. Although criticism is hard to receive, it's necessary for growth. You don't realize what you've got until it's gone truly, so try to find gratitude in every single day. Make decisions based off of how to make the present version of you happy. Don't beat yourself down for past failures. You never know what's happening in your favor. Have grace for yourself the way you'd have grace for others going through a difficult time. Work on your self-dialogue because we become our thoughts. What's meant to be will be. Slowing down is just as important as hustling and the best is yet to come. Good morning guys, it's my birthday. We did cake last night. I was actually in the bathtub and my friend surprised me while I was in the bathtub and I blew out my candles in the bathtub. Here's some pics and videos. <laughs> it's on the toilet. I was not vlogging, it was very, you know, in the moment and I'm not with Gabby, but she was the first person to FaceTime me when it turned May 5th on the East Coast, which was really cool because she's in LA and she realized at 9 p.m. that it was my birthday and not her birthday yet, which is so funny and weird, but she FaceTimed me. And now we're getting ready to go to New York City. That's where I chose to have my birthday this year. And I just posted the Nikki and Gabby video which is so cool that we all have a tradition, guys. We're packing up the car, we have to unload the car, and then we are en route to New York City, where I will be having a party tonight and spend the weekend in New York City. We are leaving for New York City.
Okay. We are just getting to the hotel. That's okay. So I was a dumbass and left my outfit in my mailbox. So mm -hmm. um, I do have a lot of like try 2 k pieces, but nothing really goes together. So I'm yeah. like curious what you have. I, like, I have a lot of pants. Yeah. But you've already worn two of my pants in my collection. I have. I sent you the others because they're on that TikTok. Are you you're looking for pants or like everything? Everything. I'm like pretty open minded right now. Okay, I'll like post some things and then I guess because they can like send them to you or FaceTime me or something. Okay. All right, guys, we are in the room. We left at, hold on. We left at like 3.45, 4 p.m. It is now almost 9 p.m. and I just got to my room. Rule of thumb, do not leave to go to New York City right before rush hour. Normally that drive is an hour and 15 minutes. That was a four and a half hour drive. So I didn't factor into the equation like any of that. My party starts in an hour, so I'm gonna literally have to rush and get ready. Okay, so problem one, traffic, we got through it. Problem two, what do I wear? We gotta like reroute, pivot, figure out something else. Thank God I packed other cute stuff, but I just don't know what goes with what, so I'm also gonna have to build an outfit. And I have my friend, Jose, that's a fashion designer. He might bring some of his pieces. People are gonna help out, but I mean, at the end of the day, it's an outfit, it's not that big of a deal. Like, it's literally just an outfit. I know I'm gonna have fun regardless, but I was excited for the outfit, but it is what it is. Things happen for a reason. We're gonna unwind, we're gonna do our makeup, and this room is beautiful. The view is so nice, and I don't know, I just feel like this is a new experience. Every time I go to New York, I usually stay in the same hotel, so it's a nice little switch up. All right, so I'm gonna get ready. I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna wear, and I don't know how I'm gonna do my makeup, I don't know how I'm gonna do my hair, but we just kinda improvise as we go. So. last night and it wasn't intentional but like 
I low-key knew deep down it was gonna be like that just from all the people that I invited Everybody is so fun like nobody really like hung out or really knew each other But everyone became friends last night and if friendships formed from last night because of me I'm gonna feel so good good news is is I'm not hungover because Last night, I ended up eating a gluten-free pizza in between bars. I think that saved me. You know, I'm 28. I'm not 22 anymore. I noticed this year drinking that much is, like, not worth it compared to the hangover I now get. And I knew that I had to eat pizza last night. Like, literally, guys, being 28, you can't drink like you're 21 anymore. I can't mix alcohols. I can't have sugar and alcohol. And I have to eat while I'm drinking alcohol. Or the next day is going to be so bad. I just want to, like, thank everybody for the birthday wishes and making me feel special. It was such a good birthday, I had so much fun, but it's not over, my birthday's over, but the weekend's not over. We're still in New York City. I woke up to this beautiful view and my friends are still in the city. I love that everybody's together. All the people I never really get to see are all in one place. Today, the plan is to maybe get some lunch, go thrifting, and today is just kind of like a low-key day in the city. Our hotel actually comes with complimentary coffee, so I'm gonna go do that now. Like, I need coffee, I need to wake up. Um, I just finished my skincare. Let's go get some coffee. On our way to get some lunch. I definitely eat something in my stomach. Um, but yeah, we're going to this place I've never been before and I can't wait to show you guys what I eat. so tired i tried pushing through today by having a bunch of iced coffee but i need to take a nap after last night if i want to have fun tonight so i'm gonna take a nap and i'll catch up with you guys i really had a day we did everything from playing with puppies to thrifting to literally just walking around and then it hit me how tired i am I needed to take a nap if I wanted to have a good night tonight. So I took a really good nap. It is now dark out. After I'm done eating, I'm gonna start getting ready because all of us are gonna go to the rooftop. We're staying at a hotel that has a beautiful rooftop. I've actually been to New York Fashion Week events on this rooftop. I have other outfits I wanna wear. So I feel like I have life finally coming back to me. Walking the streets today of New York was like a blur. Yeah, after the nap, I feel like I'm back to myself, especially after eating this. I'm gonna feel so much better. <laughs> here and we're gonna head to the rooftop it's gonna be a vibe so this is night two Right, guys we are back in the closet in Pennsylvania we made it home in one piece and honestly I just want to like reflect for a second because I feel like hold on Gabby's calling hello hey 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 Landon okay how's the birthday like how are you guys doing we're doing good oh my god I'm literally filming on what I got for my birthday haul oh it's like the camera new say hi 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 camera hi what I got for my birthday Nikki DeMar Ew! Shut up! We call to like keep tabs and check in. She's like, so how was it? 
How was the birthday? What's the drama? What's the drama? Well, give me the drama. Something obviously happens to me. Okay, wait, let me stop the camera for a second. Okay, stop the camera. All right, I just had to catch up Gabby. We did separate trips this year. If you guys don't follow me and Gabby um, separately, Gabby went to Vegas with her friends and I went to New York City with my friends, obviously in this vlog. This is like the first time like we did separate birthday things and we were genuinely excited for each other and it didn't feel like, oh, she's taking some friends of mine on her trip and Nikki's taking some of my friends. You know, sometimes it's messy being a twin and sharing friends. I don't know, there's just no drama. Everybody's just a really good time. Honestly, I just wanna say thank you to everyone for the birthday wishes, the collages, the edits, the story posts, my friends in my personal life for pulling through for my birthday. Um, honestly, I genuinely felt so loved and so special and it meant so much. I wanna show you guys what I got for my birthday. The first thing I wanna show you guys are these black Converse their platforms because if you know I'm really short and I got these right before the city trip and I wore these in New York and I've been wearing them every day since so this is definitely I think one of my favorite gifts I got the next thing I got are these Betty Boop like how do you even word these what are these these go on your like sunroof things that come down I'm gonna sound like an airhead not knowing what they're called I'm sure these are from the early 2000s because these are like CD holders that can go over top of the things that come down in your car And I love that these match my car They're red and black and my seats are red and black these Betty Boop socks. They're so cute I love a nice themed present and if you know me in real life, you know I love to be comf and socks are one of the best gifts you can get me. So if you guys haven't watched the Nikki and Gabby video, I do have to bring this onto this channel. Gabby actually did gift me one of her Chanel bags that she purchased during quarantine that she does not vibe with. And after a lot of thinking, she realized it was my style and she gifted it to me. Look how cute this is. It's gold and it has black graffiti all over it. And I don't have a gold purse. I don't have a metallic purse. If you want to see me getting this gift and my reaction, I'll link the Nikki and Gabby video down below. We filmed our twin gift exchange and this was such a thoughtful gift. I love it. So one of the guests at my birthday party is one of my makeup artists. She handed me this MAC lip gloss and said it's her favorite in her makeup kit and she had to give it to me because it's very Y2K and it's pink and it's shimmery and it looks frosted so she got me this lip gloss look, look how cute this is I'm just gonna show you guys how cute this is i actually did play with this it is truly giving spice girl i was also gifted this tracksuit and it's pink and it's an img a tracksuit and it's bedazzled that is everything i got for my birthday and i'm really excited that i'm able to share my birthday this many years into doing youtube so yeah, be sure you guys subscribe to me on Snapchat if you guys want to see things first, if you want to see them the moment they're happening. Subscribe here, press the bell. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. She's the girl's gone mad, so sad, the one you want but can't have.